Welcome back, slide rule fans. This will be a quick video revisiting the inverse CI scale. Um, I first looked at it back in one of my basic slide rule videos, and here I have the basic slide rule back. Um, at that point, we talked about how the CI scale does multiplication. So remember, we said if you want to multiply 2 times 3 using the CI scale, first find 2 on the D scale. Then, using the CI scale, which reads backwards, find 3. Okay, so I found 2 on D and 3 on CI. Then, one of the indices of CI is always on scale. So here, if I find the index of CI, I read result 6. Okay, that's what we said about the CI scale before. Of course, we also said it could compute inverses. Okay, so... Inverses, for example, you can read directly C against CI, but I'll close the rule here so you can read either C or D. Um, for example, to find the inverse of uh, 23, you find 2, 3, so here's 2.1, 2, 3 on the C scale. Uh, you read the result on the CI scale. Remember, CI scale is reading backwards, so 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 5. Um, so C, uh, the C versus CI scale can read inverses, uh, D versus CI can do multiplication. And of course, remember that the C and the D scale, using those in tandem, can be thought of as um, solving proportions. So remember, if we set some sort of proportion, like say here, um, 2 to the 4, then that same proportion is set everywhere. Uh, here, 1 to 2. Here, 1.5 to 3. Um, here, 4 to 8. 5 to 10. Um, and so the C and the D can be used to solve proportion. Now, we're going to change this up slightly. So here's the idea, right? I take D1 aligned with C1 and D2 aligned with C2, and I can solve this proportion. Um, but if I change to the CI scale instead of uh, the C scale, versus the D scale, then of course it computes the reciprocals of these numbers, right? So if I, instead of finding the number on the C scale, I find it on the CI scale, uh, then I get its reciprocal. Uh, so here, I get this. Um, but of course, we know from our knowledge of fractions that this is the same as saying uh, D1 times CI1 equals D2 times CI2. And let's call this the CI slash D proportion principle. Um, in other words, uh, for math class, you know this is called an inverse proportion. Uh, and using the D scale and the CI scale can be used to solve those inverse proportions. The main idea is that if you read the uh, D scale versus the CI scale, um, you get a constant product instead of a uh, constant uh, quotient, like you get... Uh, for the C slash D scale. So let's look at the 2 times 3 again. So here, let me find 2 on D and 3 on the CI. The product of there is 6, right? Well, um, so you have 2 times 3 is 6, but if you came over to 1.5, you also get 1.5 times 4. Uh, which is 6. And then, of course, if you find the 1 either at this end or at the other index, the other number will be 6, uh, reading D and CI. And so, in fact, everywhere you set the cursor, you get product 6. Okay, so we're going to call this the D uh, slash CI proportion principle. Let's use this to solve a couple proportions. So say you have 3.5 times 1.5 as something times 2.4. You could find the 3.5 on D, uh, find the 1.5 on the CI scale. Okay, and now if you found the 2.4 on the CI scale, on the D scale, you would read the results. So now finding 2.4 on CI, I read down there about 2, 1, about 2, 1, 9. and interpreting the decimal place here, 21.9. So what I did was, 
here I said, okay, well I'll set 35 times 1.5 here, and then if I set 2.4 here, what is the other number I need for that product? 21.9. Uh, here's a quick ap another application. Um, say that uh, you want to do this computation, maybe 120 is a voltage, so this is a constant power calculation or something, you know, you have 0.42 amps, um, just as an example. Um, what could you do? Well, find the 4.2. Okay, found that on the D. Then align that with 1.2. Don't have to move too far. Align that with 1.2 on the CI. Then, if you come on the CI to 33, you read the other number you need for the product on the D scale about 1, uh, 1.5 looks like 3. So if the interpretation in there is that you need uh, 0.42 amps at 120 volts, uh, you get the same power from 1.53 amps at 33 volts, right? Okay, this has been a quick explanation of the CI uh, proportion principle. Uh, enjoy.